come back to our answer for now because we did find that they were in denial of treatment and we feel that but they are the other end of our question thank you so much for your patronage so far thank you so much for your inquiries thank you for the referrals we are really really happy and we really appreciate it thank you so much and also i want to thank you for making us the, your number one preferred choice in africa we are so grateful recently we just finished and uh, completed a particular project in ghana we will bring the video very soon and in cameroon so i'll be bringing the video very soon that's why i've not been dropping videos on our series that i'm not been dropping videos on this platform i'm really sorry so i think i'm a little bit busy uh, a little bit less busy now so that's why i'm making this video to quickly speak to our online customers online intended customers so, so thank you so much we really appreciate this so quickly i want to i'm doing this this is a new series video this is a new series and in this video i'll be speaking on all our mach all of our machines all of our machines what makes a complete extruder line and i'll also talk about our mini setup because we have the complete extruder line and we have the mini setup too for people that cannot afford the complete extruder line we have the mini setup too so in this video i'll be on each on a particular video i will speak on a particular machine to you understand i will speak on a particular machine i will tell you the how to make use of such machine and the differences of such machine with some maybe very close uh, machines to that so i want to tell you precautions you need to take while you're operating such machines and also whatsoever you need to also know about the machines you can easily send a, a make a comment down the or below this post and tell me what you really want me to tell you about such machine you understand so this is the first video and in this first video i'll start with our first machine that is if you are getting a complete line or a mini line the first machine you will get is the pulverizer so in this video i'll be talking about the pulverizer the difference between pulverizer and armor mill i want to talk about how you need how you operate a pulverizer i want to tell you the importance of the pulverizer and um everything that i think i think you need to know about pulverizer i'm doing this so that um it will reduce the inquiries from people because most people don't really understand what a complete line looks like most people don't really understand what what each of these machines what is their uh, what is their uh, job okay what is this machine assigned to do you understand most of people most people don't really understand that so that's why i'm doing this video to explain thoroughly what each of our machines what their operation is do you understand so thank you so much as you follow me on this video so like i said i'll be speaking on the pulverizer so the pulverizer is the first machine you get when you're getting either the complete extruder line or the mini setup the pulverizer is the first machine you are getting so what does this do the pulverizer helps to grind your aggregate your maize your gnc your soya your bone meal your blood meal it helps you to grind them into a very fine powdery form into a very fine powdery form to enable a smooth production of fish feet because if it's not well powdery it kills problem if it's not well powdery it increases the digestibility of such feet and if it's not well if it's not well powdery then you will have problem operating your extruder machine so that is why i always tell people the first line of of action is after getting the machines getting the raw materials the first line of action is the pulverization and for the pressure to take place the pulverizer is what you need so the pulverizer helps you to grind all these things into fine powdery form because if it's not well powdery it will increase the digestibility of such feeds if it's not well powdery you will not be able to produce 3 m 2 mm 1 mm and 2 mm if it's not well powdery it will not come out from your extruder it will start blocking the whole of your extruder and you have to start losing and coupling the machine and it does a lot of stress so for you to have a work a good workable and um, to produce a very floating smooth round fish feet you need to have a pulverizer so it it, 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 it is this pulverizer that will help you to eradicate the fact that your fish and um, your feet your fish feet is not round it's not smooth so if you use a pulverizer then i will assure you that you have a very fine round smooth fish feet do you understand so um quickly let me tell you the difference between so quickly quickly 
so let me tell you the difference between the supervisor and the armor man. Just most people don't understand that there's there's a huge difference between a supervisor and the armor man. Because most times farmers will tell me, I I am a um, I'm a poultry farmer, you understand? I have a, a hammer mill. Do I still need the pulverizer? Yes. Yes, you still need the pulverizer. Hammer mill is used to is used for poultry feed production. Because you know in poultry feed you still need to see the birds need to see the grains. The, your chicken, your layers, your, they still need to pick the grains. So that's why Amma Mill does not grant a very even if you change the sieve to the slower sieve, there's something called sieve inside the Amma Mill. Even if you change it to the lowest, that's 2 mm, you will still not get a finely grinded uh, material unlike the pulverizer. So this is why most times in poultry feed production, they make use of the armor mill so that your bed can still see something to pick. Because if they use a pulverizer to grind feed for poultry for beds, it's no good because one, they will not see any grains to pick and also it will contain dust which might lead to CRD. Do you understand? So that's why poultry farmers don't make use of pulverizer. But if you are a poultry farmer and you are going into fish production, fish feed production, you need a pulverizer alongside your armor mill. You can first use your armor mill to grind. After grinding, then you now take it to the pulverizer to now grind again to give you that fine powder that I'm always mentioning that I'm armoring on. I know I'm I'm, I'm armoring on that fine powder. It has to be fine though. It has to be fine, you know. Actually, it has to be very fine so that you can achieve a smooth fish feed. Between these two machines, the pulverizer and the armor mill is that the pulverizer is strictly used for fish. Strictly for fish. Why armor mill is strictly for poultry? But you can use the armor mill for poultry and then take materials from the armor mill and still grind in the pulverizer too. Do you understand? You can do that too. Do you understand? So, these are the, that's the difference between the two. So the two does not play the same role. They play different roles, different roles. You understand? And actually, some people like we have been asking me, can I still use the pulverizer to perform the job of an armor mill by changing the sieve size to a bigger one? No. This is because my own design, our own design for our pulverizer, until it gets to a very fine powder form, that it will not go through the cone and come out from the goes through the cone up and down to the um, to the mouth of this and um, to the mouth of the pulverizer and this is because it's it's powdery but if you it's not powdery it will not go up it will go up there and and then come down i'll show you a video to explain this you understand but most people don't explain what i'm trying to say by going up and coming down so i'll, 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 I'll put, okay just look at this video and it will tell you more about going up and coming down up which i'm trying to explain because you pour it from this place and i pour it from from the hopper and it go down it grinds and it now go up into through the fluidized mechanisms then come down and allows you have your fine powder form so and the pulverizer adds a cone why amami does not have a cone what you are grinding guys uh, what whatever you are grinding comes directly by the side it does not go through the cone you understand no it just come by the side just like the normal pepper or the normal uh, pepper grinding machine just the way it comes out that's the way armor mill comes out but pulverizer goes through the cone through a few dice mechanisms and now come down to the sack where you the sack where you want it want to want to, want to collect it the way it's being collected so this is one of the difference between the two and also the fact that um armor mill is is big does not mean it can perform the function of a pulverizer so um let me quickly talk about our pulverizer we, our pulverizer comes in three model you understand we have three models for our pulverizer we have the one that works with electricity that's the one with electric motor we have the one that works with generator diesel powered generator we have the one, we also have the one that works with the petrol powered generator you understand it all depends on which one is your preference but if you have electricity in your farm, then I would advise you go for the one with electric motor. And it comes with three-phase electric motor. So your your, your three-phase on your farm must be complete. So if not complete, then I would advise that you buy a generator to power it. But if you don't have the money to buy a generator, you can buy our extruder machine, our pulverizer machine that comes with a diesel engine or a petrol engine. You understand? So with that, 
you'll be able to perform such operation and also let me tell you we have different capacities you have the 500 kg per hour you have the 100 kg per hour you have the one ton kg per hour that that's 1000 kg yes we have the one ton per hour that's 1000 kg per hour and also have the two tons per hour what i mean two tons per hour is that the provider will be able to grind 500 kg in one hour it will be able to grind two and uh, one ton in one hour and it's able to grind two tons in one hour so we have three three capacities the one that can grind 500 kg per hour the one that can grind one ton per hour and the one that can grind two tons per hour do you understand so um using the pulverizer you don't have to regrind 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 no one grinding gives a powerful form but for armor you, you see have to regrind put it again grind it again put it again grind it again no but pulverizer just once and you are getting the you are getting the desired um the desired texture you understand that's to be very very fine not coarse not coarse but fine so let me tell you why i'm always mentioning the fact that your feet needs to be fine okay if your feet is not finely grinded one it will increase the digestibility of such feet two such feet will not be smooth after production three the fact that it's not well grinded the production takes longer hour because you have you start, start seeing greens that will be blocking the dye of the extruder machine if you start blocking it and you need to uh, loosen the extruder machine clean it up couple it back and start production again you know takes time not effective so please 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 make sure that make sure that before you start or venture into this business or you want to start a feed mill or you want to start producing your own fish feeds make sure you buy a pulverizer but if you don't have the power to buy a pulverizer because it's well it's affordable but, but for for lower lower class farmers that will still wants to buy the pepper grinder yet yeah, you can still buy the pepper grinder but it takes time it's not effective it takes time it's not and it's not effective you have to do about four hours uh, four times five times before you can get a fine powder from so instead of using a one thousand era petrol to do that you might be using three thousand era petrol to do that so it's not effective that's why i don't advise you to get that one but if your pocket or if you're if you're not capable or you can't afford the extruder and um, the pulverizer you can still go for that then once it's God's blessings and your pocket is now you know is now big enough to buy the pulverizer then I advise that you do that you know so thank you so much for listening to this video and please follow us like share our videos share our videos share it like it give us a thumb up if you really enjoy this um this lecture well is it a lecture I don't know but if you really enjoy this give us a thumb up and please patronize us patronize us and sell complete the studio line mini setup diesel power the studio electric power the studio and all sorts that has to do with fish feed production thank you so much my name remains Alberto Adebola and I'm a question of this price thank you